there are basically three ways you can let the clutch out. First, ease it out nice and slow, like we all learned to ride with a little bit of throttle, take off nice and easy. Next, you can slip the clutch, which I've done a video on in the past, but you're basically delaying that movement and using that in-between zone to slip the clutch and delay the power, make a smoother power to the rear tire, great for finding traction. And lastly, you can pop the clutch, which is letting it out as quick as you can, but there are a few things to keep in mind when you're ready to do that. Popping the clutch is great for techniques like splatters, zaps, gaps, big ride-ups, or fast takeoffs, but it needs to be done properly to get the most out of it. So to start, you want to have the clutch in and give it some throttle, get the RPMs up. You want the flywheel spinning because it will be more noticeable when you do pop the clutch. So clutch in, throttle on, and just pop the clutch. Let it out as fast as you can. You want that lever to snap back, even if you have to let your finger all the way off of it. That way you know the lever is moving as fast as possible. Some people will have the tendency to let it out like they're going to pop it, but then they'll hold back just a bit and it won't get full power. So until you're comfortable with exactly where your clutch is disengaging, it might be helpful to just let your finger off the clutch. That way you know it's giving you full power and you can start out by just doing some wheelies on the flat ground. Start with just using throttle for the wheelie, then let the clutch out into it and then rev it up with the clutch in, pop the clutch and see how much difference that makes. It's also very important to pop the clutch at the right time. You always want to load the suspension before you pop the clutch, because if not, chances are you're going to spin. So it just comes with the timing, compressing the suspension, and then popping the clutch as you pull up, and that will put a lot better drive to the rear tire, maintain traction, and control where you want to go. Once you get comfortable popping the clutch on the flat ground and getting a feel for what the bike does when you do that, you can take it to an obstacle. I'm going to hit this three times and hopefully show the difference. First, I'll hit it just using the throttle. I'm just going to wheelie into it and watch how quick the front tire comes up. Next, I'll just let the clutch out with the throttle. It's a little more controllable that way. And then third, I'm going to rev it up and pop the clutch. As you can see there, popping the clutch made the front end come up much quicker and made the rear end hit the base of the obstacle much harder. The taller the obstacle is, the more RPM you need, but the best way to get there is to pop the clutch because it will carry you much further than just rolling the power on. There are also times when you need to slip into a pop. For example, this rock is covered in snow, so it's going to be slippery, and I want to gap over to that one. So if I just pop the clutch right away, chances are I'm going to spin, not make the gap. So instead, I'm going to slip the clutch until the very end. I'm going to keep my weight back for traction and slip right to here and then pop and jump. That way I'll have some momentum and I'll have my weight over the rear tire. So when I go to jump, I'll have some traction to hopefully land on the next rock. Hopefully that will help you understand what popping the clutch is all about. But remember, you don't always just want to ease the clutch out. You don't always want to slip it and you don't always want to pop it. You have to read the terrain and the traction you have to decide how quick you can let the clutch out. To end, I'm going to do this splatter with no run. I'm going to stick to second gear, but I'm going to show you how quick the bike can react when I really rev it out. It's a pretty big gap and height that I need to clear with no run, so I'm going to need to rev it out wide open and pop the clutch very quick, jump as high as I can, and hopefully make the gap clean. Oh.